Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. I'm going to do the first Magic 2015 draft. I have played so many sealed events. It's insane. I have a huge pile of M15 boosters. So I intend to put them to good use. As you know, I love core sets and I feel that all these seals have put me ahead of the curve compared to my usual experience early on in the format. I did manage to 3 of the first m14 draft and as you know i did 100 m14 limited videos on this channel i have promised not to do 100 videos on this channel so i'm gonna post the subpar ones on smg prop the other youtube channel but there will be some m15 here i am having problems with uh, playing the uh, aggressive uh, <laughs> Convoke builds. I, I don't like triplicate spirits all that much, but I know it's good. Uh, I have two uh, rating systems right on my other screen. I'll link to them in the show notes. I also have goldfish up and I'm going to money draft if uh, cards are above $2. So uh, let's do this. Uh, I have an inkling. I, I like red. I like red black a lot. I played only black in the pre release events. So uh, I'm really inclined to play black. I know black isn't that strong. Uh, red green seems nice too. I haven't given up on um, blue black control. So, what do you like in M15? Tell me in the show notes and tell me what picks you don't disagree with. When you comment on a play mistake or a pick I made, please. Give me the minute and second so I can find it quickly in the video. I am starting to be okay with the version 4 client, but I still have problems. Sometimes I click attackers and they don't attack, so I need more practice with the client. But this is more practice, so let's draft. One more, then we go. Here we go. Nissa World Wind, one time. So, Sea Dragon, 7 mana is a lot in the format, but it is red. Juggernaut doesn't commit me to anything, so I think I'm gonna pick Juggernaut over Sea Dragon here. Sunblade Elf is great, Warden is not. Uh, Mystic is rated really highly, higher than I think, but. And people love Frostlings. I'm not that impressed with him. I absolutely hate Sanctified Charge so far. But if I take the Juggernaut here, it's uh, not a commitment. And I think 7 man is too much. Cutting red could be interesting though. I don't know, this is a hard choice. You saw the Pro Tour when the guy took a Juggernaut over Scuttling Doom Engine. I think Scuttling Doom Engine is much stronger than Siege Dragon though. So I'm gonna take the Juggernaut. I'll send a red signal and probably a green one as well. So first pick Juggernaut. We don't get any of the top red commons. But we do get the Flash to Dust. Is it the strongest card in this pack? Or am I just overrating it because I love black? And there is nothing here you could justify taking over Flesh to Dust, is there? So we are going black. We could stay uncommitted again, taking the Bronze Sable, but I think that's giving up too much. And we are not super committed to playing this flesh dust. Mercurial Pretender, I'm absolutely not impressed by that, but we're getting some good blue things here. Um, so are we going into blue here? Kite fins, it's a six mana spell. Divination. Goblin is decent, but so is Root Feast the Maggot, but I I tend to play uh, too expensive decks. I did pass the dragon. As I said, I have not given up on blue-black control yet.
What about the Wall of Limbs? It must suck. Is Divination the best blue card? I'm not sure about the value of Divination here, but I'm gonna pick the Divination. Uh, Diffusion Sliver sucks. Crippling Blight. Oh, we are all over the place now. I think Sea Worm is the strongest card here. Uh, by far, actually. I don't like Unmake the Graves. Uh, it was in uh, Invasion Block, and then you could like draw a card with it. Didn't have Convoke, but that was much better, and that was barely playable. I think this format is about as fast as Invasion Block, maybe even faster. Yeah, I'm all over the place. So what's strong here? They are trying to give me Unmake the Graves. I overrate Black Cat a lot. Uh, we need quick uh, creatures. Brawler's Plate has been decent in Sealed, but I think it's too slow for Draft. And Crust has a lot of problems in this format. Is Turn to Frog better than Crust? I think it is. The green card's not really good. Blue definitely looks open here. Will this put me in the horrible blue-green deck? I've been warned about that. But I think my blue picks here are putting me on Wall of Frost. Excellent blocker. The other alternative is Runeclaw Bear or Witch is Familiar. I'm not against being green-black. But blue definitely looks open. I don't like this thing. Netcast the Spider is a strong card here, and Encrust is pretty crappy. Shit, I'm gonna be blue green. Hmm. Bronze Sable looks fun. Netcast the Spider is probably better than Hunt a Week. I played a, a lot of win um, Venom Slivers in. In sealed, but uh, I don't think they're fast enough here. They are barely playable in sealed. Hunter's ambush crap. Oh, Glacial crasher must be really bad. Uh, taking the shorts just because it's the most powerful card. Maybe white is open. I intend to decide what I'm gonna play uh, early in the second pack. That might be too late. Soft shade to go with my. It's so slow. I could be some sort of blue white flyer thing. Giving up all my early picks, but I'm taking. Oh god, I'm too slow, sorry. Well, this one was easy. I don't like first response. And we need to make some hard decisions very soon, because we have a crap deck right now. So what's really good? Flesh to dust, Siege Worm, Juggernaut. Blue isn't that impressive. When equipped creature dies. Okay, so that could be a sideboard card against someone with very little remo removal. I love the fact that you can build a deck while drafting. Okay, we can still choose here and we haven't sent any good signals. Even if blue was open, we got crap. Here's the Hive Lord, can't play him. <sighs> Nightfire Giant is super strong. And I am. I could hope to pick up an Evolving Wilds and play one red. 
Delk in turn is nice, but I think the Nightfire Giant is just too strong here. And I'm not red. Red is definitely not open. Okay, if I were green-black, I would need a lot of cheap creatures. Okay, what's strong here? How much is an Urborg? 134, but it doesn't do anything in this format. Um, Sunblade Elf, I could splash a white too. But how much can I splash? Crippling Blight Hunt the weak. But it's a shit creature. Okay, I'm probably not white. But now, now it looks open. <laughs> if I were white, I would be white green. Or should I just look? Wow. Now it looks open. Are we playing the little kids deck? Cutting blue. Cutting the Nightfire Giant. Which is familiar, it's just not that strong. So let's go Convokish. We have one Convoke card. Pillar of Light or Raised Alarm. Okay, black or white. Angel. God. Okay, we can't go back. There's another flesh to dust. And the race alarm. No, we are now black green. Choice is made, and we get mass classified. <laughs> and another pillar. Pillar over signing blood, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was going to cut white. Hello. Uh, I could splash the pillars with that haven. I think I just need to pick up some cheap creatures here. There is nothing here, so I pick uh, the dogs. Is oh, they <coughs> sorry. definitely need cheap cards. God, I'm gonna wind up in a three color mess. And I can't splash the flesh to dust. Cyborg Planet. 15 playables. Definitely need more cheap creatures. Golem this late. Interesting. I'm way too expensive. Ramaging could be splashed if I still go with the uh, uh, naturalized in the sideboard. 
So now I have the Nightfire Giant plan. Going, but I so I could look for Rummaging Goblin and stuff. Okay, 16 playables. Definitely too few cheap creatures. Uh, Hornet Queen, of course, must be taken. But I definitely need to take Havens now just to accelerate into stuff. <sighs> really nothing in my colors, but Hornet Queen is really good. I'm gonna live by Bronze Sables. Bronze Sables are going to protect me. Covenant, but I'm way too expensive. I have also no removal. <laughs> So maybe I have to take the Covenant here. Necromancer's assistance is not too sexy. Courage, of course, to save my Sables, but... I think I have to take the Covenant. Yeah, more 7 drops. 2 and 3 drops <laughs> extremely important at this point. And that is a cyber card. So we're actually at 16 playables. So let me know when I should have committed to another color, if you think so. I need the creatures, so I have to pass the Signing Blood here. And I think the creature I need the most is Typhoid Rats. Another Typhoid Rats, Shaman. Shaman's gotta be better. I'm, oh, Gargoyle is interesting too. That'll give me a flyer. But Shaman will get me closer to my Hornet Queen. The horrible curve. Fest the Gloom, Sable or Siege Worm. God, the curve needs a Sable. And the Sunblade Elf is almost unplayable in this deck. Do I have to take the Bronze Saber here for the curve? I think I do. Courage then I guess. <sighs> no creatures. Will I be forced to play the ambush? I could play 18 lands, of course. I might be forced to play the ambush here. I don't like hot soup. There's a welkin turn, proving that I should have stick, should have stayed in um, blue. I might be forced to main deck that planet. Oh, I don't want to play the hunter's ambush. I don't have I don't have a way to um, put in a planes as well. Uh, Necromancer's assistant here fills a hole in the curve. Yeah. Not too impressed by Ranger's Gale. Is it better than Carriage? Not sure. It's probably better than Sunblade Elf. But I need a Convoke, so I'm playing Sunblade Elf for the Convoke. Am I a 1-1? One, one? Feast is really bad.
What the mess? I do have the, the flesh to dust and the covenant. So I need to. Well, 40 devils will just do a number on me. <laughs> There's even a moss beast in my deck. Well, I can cut that. I want someone to play the mercenaries. Cutting the moss beast. Eighteen creatures. Any deck with eighteen creatures can actually win. So guile or courage. And I think I need to play it in lands here. Ambush got to be the worst card. I want to play 18 lands here. Wall of limbs looks horrible. How do I gain life? I can't gain life. It's just a zero three wall. No, I can't play that. I think my main deck plummet is gonna be my way out of trouble. Some situations. I have only the spider against flyers. What? This is crap. But let's do the best we can. Play 18 lands, with the 18th land being the mountain for the Nightfire Giant. Also enables us to cast the Hornet Queen. Definitely need to play the Sunblade Elf with the three combo cards. So, Guile or Courage? I actually have a lot of experience playing Courage from Pauper, so I should perhaps learn. Oh, it's no Wines of Westwood, is it? I'm cutting the Courage then just to try the Guile. Nine nine. So where are my two costs? They are in black. So I am cutting one forest. So the mountain is very hopeful for the nightfire giant, but otherwise the nightfire giant is a four three, and that's okay, I guess. Four combo cards, seventeen creatures. Plummet is a gamble. But my non-creature cards are three removal spells, plum at the Ranger's Guide. I have a mana sink in the shade. Is it too hopeful to play one plane? No, I actually need double. I need double green for the. I need three green for one queen. That could be a problem, actually. When will I have three green? I have eight forests. So I'll get to thir three eight on my deck. Fifteen cards on turn eight. I will have three forests. So I could cast the one queen. Wow, an elf, a, a real elf would be very helpful here. I don't have too high hopes on this deck. I, I don't have any of the synergies I really wanted in green, black either. I've won sealed deck tournaments with uh, Primadox. Uh, and what's that guy called? The tree tree that returns things. And then a lot of value creatures like Shaman of Spring, Grave Diggers. Uh, maggots. But if I can 2 1 with this deck, I'm really happy. So, did I get any value? I knew. 
I have the uh, dark steel sitter I didn't pick up that. I didn't. Absolutely zero value. There may be the sun blade of his couple of stamps. No, zero value. This is horrible. But let's see what we can do with it.